Okay, so I have the crank web uh, chucked up in the uh, three jaw chuck of my 12-inch uh, Atlas lathe, and um, I'm going to um, I'm going to face this off, just clean this up, and I'll probably bring it over to the milling machine and do all the drilling on that. So um, here we go. I just want to stop it here a second and see what kind of finish we're getting. Okay, that's not bad. I'm using a, a CCMT insert. Um, this set came from uh, Banggood. Um, it's an Asian import uh, uh, set, but for the price, you really can't beat it for a home hobbyist. I'm just about there. I'm getting it starting to get a longer cut. Just taking off enough just to clean this up nice and flat. Let's see what we got. Just a little bit over here I gotta clean up. I think we're just gonna hit that with a file. Okay, so I wound up um after facing the other side, the uh, crank web on the lathe, I, uh, I went ahead, put it up in the vise on top of two parallels in the milling machine. Now, trying to find the center of this casting, I was playing with the dial indicator on the spindle, and it, it just, it was just really taking a long time, and I really wasn't getting the results I wanted. So, this here, fits nice and snug inside the um, half inch collet. So what I went ahead and did, I put a half inch collet in my milling machine. Let's see if I could zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so in here I have a half inch collet now. Uh, and um, I adjusted the X and Y on, on the table until this just slips right over that nice. So, I'm going to call that the center. I'm saying that centered, I'm saying right now that this hub on the crank web is uh, right in line with the spindle of my milling machine. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a um, drill chuck in here and I'll drill and ream for a quarter inch hole. All right, here's another view. I don't know how easy it's going to be to see, but this collet slips right over there. If it gets into focus for us here. Hey. Okay.
Okay, so now I got this hole uh, drilled and reamed to a quarter inch diameter. Now I'm going to move the table uh, in the uh, Y direction uh, 375 thousandths so I could uh, send a drill, uh, drill, and I believe tap uh, the hole for the uh, for the other uh, crankshaft journal. Okay, so I moved the table 375 thousandths uh, out. I got a center drill. Uh, Going to center drill it. Uh, drill it with a number 38 drill bit, and then tap it with a uh, 540 tap. So let's go. Well, all right, we're back here again. I thought the day was over. Uh, my number 38 drill bit was too small. Well, my chuck was too small, too large. So closed down to the largest point, it wouldn't grab the drill bit. So um, thought I was done for the day. And uh, remember, I had this other drill truck with a three-quarter inch straight shank on it. I put it in my three-quarter collet. I think we're back in business. So let's drill this hole out. drilled that but this bronze is very tough stuff um, I tell you uh, <laughs> um, never worked with it before so um, so I got my 540 tap this is a brand new tap by the way um, I put some uh, safety tap on it hopefully that'll help it out um, so let's tap this and uh, get to it All right, so I already uh, used my tiniest center drill. Uh, I don't know what number this is, but uh, it's tiny. It's a tiny little bugger. That wants to break just looking at it. But, all right, I managed to just put a little spot on there. Um, put this number 38 drill bit back in there, and I had to drill another one of these precariously small holes through this uh, tough bronze so uh, this is for the set screw to lock it onto the crankshaft so uh, well let's have at it This uh, safety tap here really uh, really makes a big difference. Uh, I was unsure whether or not to put any lubricant uh, on the uh, bronze, but um, I'm kind of liking it. I'm going to be using that from now on. So if anybody wants to leave a comment on whether or not you should use lubricant on bronze, um, please, by all means, do that. All right, got the 540 tap set up in there again. Um, all right. I put some of that safety tap on there again. Okay, there we have it. That's for the set screw. Hope you have it in the frame there. All right. This piece is actually done. 